This is an image of a human cell undergoing apoptosis. That is clinical term for programmed cell death. What is causing its death are these tiny pollen-like coronavirus particles budding out of the cell. The word virus comes from the Latin neuter virus, meaning poison. And like any other form of life, these are programmed only to cause harm and hence the name. Viruses are at the very edge of what we humans define as living organisms. You see, for any organism, single cellular like a bacterium or multicellular like a human being, it should meet the following criteria to be called alive. It should have a cellular structure with cellular components. It should show response to external stimuli. It should grow. It should reproduce on its own. It should metabolize food for energy. It should exhibit homeostasis and pass on its genes to its offsprings in heredity. Viruses don't exhibit most of the above and the ones they do, they can't do them independently. They need a host cell like this to do it and in the process of doing it, ends up killing the host cell. Viruses are generally too small, smaller than the wavelength of optical light. Hence we can't see them using the optical microscopes. This is where an electron microscope comes into the picture. Electron microscopes use, you guessed it, electrons instead of photons. The wavelength of electrons is smaller than that of photons and hence they can be used to look at viruses. Structurally viruses have very little in common compared to any other cell. At the core, viruses have their genetic material either in the form of RNA or DNA. This is encapsulated in a protein coat called capsid. Some viruses have an envelope of fat and protein molecules surrounding the capsid. Viruses like the SARS-CoV-2 which causes the COVID-19 have surface proteins that help them bind to the surface receptors on the host cell with which they can gain entry into the cell. Once inside the host cell, the virus hacks into the cellular machinery and uses it to manufacture its own components, which are then assembled into hundreds of new virus particles. These assembled virus particles emerge out of the host cell, ultimately killing it. Once out, these viruses look for new host cells to infect, and the cycle repeats all over again.